Hey Taurus, it's Star again with Eyes of the Stars Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm here to do your mid-month reading for October 2017. So let's just get started. Okay, first card out is Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And again, we're pulling from the Romance Angels Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. Next card is love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, let's see what we have going on. I feel a lot of you um, have someone in your life that's very important. You have a, a really deep connection with someone, so much so that you tend to sacrifice yourself. Sacrifice, you know, it'll be different for all of you, but sometimes it's your self-respect, your dignity, your pride. I feel like there's been a lot of effort put on, you know, by on your part. You've put a lot of effort into this relationship, into this attraction, um, whatever it is. But I feel like maybe you might be giving a little bit too much. That's that's what I'm feeling for some of you. Let's pull a couple of clarifiers for each. Justice reverse. Yeah, so there is a lack of balance here. Maybe it's an unrequited love, although I don't really... I don't really feel that. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords reverse. So there's just things that, um, you know, a lot of times we do things for people and we kind of feel slighted, but we never say anything. And then the other person doesn't really have any idea that that's even going on. So I feel like there is a lack of communication here, maybe misunderstandings, um, even when flirting. You know, maybe you're, you're thinking you're flirting and... The other person is kind of getting offended at some things that you're saying, but it's not, you know, you don't mean it. Um, but I am getting that. There's definitely, there could even be, for some of you, this could be lies. Okay, for Love Yourself First, we have the Ace of Pentacles Reverse. So there's a stable beginning here that's blocked or was turned down. I do feel for a lot of you, it was. I feel like maybe you were offering your love and it was turned down. But not necessarily, maybe the other person was acting like they weren't interested when in fact they really were. It was just sort of a lie. You know, I do see that here. Um, and like I said, I feel like your, your pride was kind of compromised somehow. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles reverse. So somebody's wanting to come in from out of the cold. You're wanting to start anew, but but there's there's some sort of blockage here, and I feel the blockage has to do with a lack of communication. Maybe you're there's someone that you had some sort of issue with, and now you're not talking. We have keep an open mind. We have the Nine of Pentacles. This, I feel, is your energy, Taurus. You're feeling abundant. Like, you, you don't really need this person, but for some reason you, like I said, you sacrifice your, your pride for them. And we have the Five of Cups. So, yeah, there, there must have been some, uh, there's a sense of loss here, so... I feel like maybe the other person wasn't sure if you were the right person for them and now they're starting to find out or they're starting to realize that, you know, you looked pretty attractive. <laughs> you had, you seem to have everything going for you. And now this person is starting to see that maybe you are a soulmate to them and they just didn't identify you because you're not the typical, you're not like their type. 
you're not the type of person that they usually go for. Um, and that's not to say, you know, because of physically how you look, this could just be, you know, whatever ideological differences or different cultural backgrounds. But yeah, that's what I'm getting here so far. All right, let's go to your Celtic cross love spread. Okay, again, Ace of Swords reverse. So there's definitely, you're not talking to someone or there, there's been a miscommunication or someone's lying. And this is a central issue. So this might be on your mind, um, something that you're going through right now. <clears throat> Five of Swords is what's crossing. So yeah, you weren't talking because there was someone who was trying to manipulate you or play some sort of um, head games with you, some sort of power struggle. Things didn't end well, okay? There, there was definitely conflict there, so I, I feel like you lost contact with someone because of that. In the foundation, we have the five of wands. So yeah, again, there's a, there's a struggle. There's two fives here. Um, there's definitely a struggle. Um, there could have been other people involved as well. Maybe other friends got involved or family got involved. I, I don't feel like it's something that can't be solved, though, because, I mean, it's really just the five, five of wands, five of swords, or things that if you, if you talk them out, you can probably get over them. Okay, in the past, we have the nine of swords reverse. So this might have been something that you were thinking about a lot in the past, and you were finally you're finally able to get over it now. Um, but you still might not be talking to this person. What's crowning you is the Knight of Wands reverse. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, could be thinking about this person, or this could just be you thinking about somebody just leaving, from, you know, exiting your life really abruptly, I feel, and, and um, on bad terms, kind of aggressively. In the near future, we have the temperance reverse. So again, there's a lack of balance here. Um, this could also be, uh, for those of you dealing with fire signs, this could also be a Sagittarius. But overall, in the near future here, we have a lack of balance, um, some emotional inst instability, a lack of healing, um, also maybe impatience. How you see yourself as the Queen of Cups. So you're seeing yourself as... Um, being very loving and nurturing. You're open to others. You're very compassionate. You're kind of ready for love. How others see you is the Ten of Swords. So someone is thinking this fight here, this Five of Swords and this Five of Wands, was it for you. Um, uh, they are under the impression that you don't care anymore. You're done with them. When in fact you might be holding on to some loving feelings that they're not aware of. Hopes or fears, we have the Seven of Swords reverse. So someone is fearing or you're fearing a lie or some, some deceit coming out in the open. Or that you're hoping to find out if someone was lying to you. So we'll clarify. In your overall outcome, we have the Ten of Cups reverse. So that's a, a lack of um, abundance, a lack of emotional happiness. 
at the bottom of the deck we have the three of swords so Taurus what is going on all right we have the three of swords so I feel like you've been going through a broken heart you've been nursing a broken heart uh, for a while now um, you've been in this state when in fact Taurus, I feel like you have everything that you could possibly want around you. It's just you've been so focused on that one person that did you wrong. You know that it's almost like you're wasting your time when you could be enjoying all this richness that you have and all, the, all this abundance. And you're stuck here. You're stuck in this three of swords. It's, there's something that someone did to you that you just haven't been able to leave behind. But I feel like you're very, very close to. I feel like um, many of you have really this time, even though you've been dwelling on this broken heart, it's really helped you to really see things uh, in different ways, think about others in different ways. And it's helping you to see the richness that you have in your life. It's, it, you know, you're feeling more hopeful about the future and seeing good things coming towards you now. And I feel like this is going to be good for you. It's going to give you that sense of stability that you've been craving because there has been uh, a weakness here that you, you've been feeling weak. You've been feeling vulnerable and that has stunted your growth. It has stunted, you know, newness to come into your life and joy. So that's what we have so far. Let me clarify a couple of these cards and see what's going on here. Let me see the Ace of Swords. King of Cups reverse. So you might a lot of you may be not on speaking terms with a water sign, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Could be someone older than you. Um, this person could be emotionally manipulative. We also have the Emperor reverse. So yeah, it could be either a water sign or a fire sign. I'm getting both. Um, so Cancer Pisces, Scorpio or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it definitely is somebody who's very manipulative and tries to control. Definitely very controlling. So, And there were a lot of head games here. They were playing with your emotions, I feel. They were you know, trying to always get the upper hand. And I feel like this person has been cut off. And you're having a hard time you know, maybe deciding whether or not you want this person back into your life because they caused so much stress. Uh, and they really did because what's clarifying the five of swords is the nine of swords and the devil reverse. So you were worried, you know, really stressing about how you were going to set yourself free from the energy of this person, from, from their, the grip that they had on you. For some reason, they, they really were able to get inside your mind. They were playing some really serious mind games. Um, let me see here the Nine of Swords reverse in the past. What, what is that about? <clears throat> Queen of Cups reverse. I feel like you, you, you guys were kind of um, depressed for a while until you just couldn't deal with it anymore and like you kind of saw the light that you had to pull yourself out of this um, but I feel like you guys were really um, so some of you in a deep depression this really made made you even doubt just humanity itself you know and we have justice so through this process of you grieving, because I do feel like you were grieving, you were finally able to pull yourself out of this and balance your, your life again. Let's see, what's crowning you is the Knight of Wands reverse, and we have the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like now a lot of you, yeah, we have the world, okay? So I feel that a lot of you... Um, Right now you're thinking, you know, since you pulled yourself out of this depression and out of this state of stress um, after so long, after having been mindfucked, basically, um, now you're, you, it's like you don't want to move forward with this person anymore. Now you're coming to that realization that you're fine just the way you are. You know, 
you're doing great on your own and you don't need them and you want to start a new chapter now in your life you want to kind of leave that in the past and close that chapter but here in the near future we have the temperance reverse so that is a, a lack of balance i definitely want to see what that's about ace of pentacles reverse like an offer turned down or a missed opportunity that has you sort of out of balance your emotions are kind of out of whack here six of cups interesting okay so um i feel like for some of you this person either that fire sign or that water sign is going to come back and offer you something but i feel I don't know if you guys are going to turn them down because you're skeptical. You just don't trust them anymore. Or, okay. Eight of Cups and the Lovers. Yeah. I feel for a lot of you, um, this person coming back really throws you for a loop. You know, and I and I feel like you're you're gonna realize at that moment that you don't want to go back to that place that you used to be. You don't want to go back to that nine of swords again. You don't want to go back to that devil energy and all that conflict that this person made you go through. So I feel like the decision here with the lovers card, the decision is made to walk away. You're gonna turn this offer down. From a person from your past that's going to come back um, in the near future. So I want to see why you see your, why you see yourself as the Queen of Cups. Okay, yeah, Seven of Cups reversed because now things are clear to you. I feel like now you know who you want to offer your cup to, and it's not that person, whoever that is that's coming back. Six of Wands reverse. Yeah, it's like, you know, that, that cup that you had offered to this person in the past wasn't successful. And now you see it for what it really is. You know, because you had that time off. That Remember? <laughs> the hangman. You, you took that time. Where was this? This was at the bottom of the deck, I think. Yeah. Okay. So you took that time to reflect, to meditate, to think about why this wasn't successful your part in it the other person's part in it and now the fog has cleared and you see things clearly and now you know who you want to offer your love to or who deserves it so maybe this person that's why they're seeing you as the ten of swords and they're probably right i think you are kind of done with them i think this love that you have to offer is not for them anymore and, and you're going to show that in the near future i think you're going to be put to the test here we have the eight of wands reverse so yeah you may you might have blocked them a lot of you might have blocked their number blocked them on facebook on social media and that's why they think that you don't want anything to do with them anymore all right let me see the seven of swords why is the seven of swords reverse here is a hope or a fear the moon so things that are hidden Strength reverse. <clears throat> I feel like you want, I'm reading this as a hope. I mean, it could go either way, but I'm reading it as you hoping that whatever is hidden, all these lies that this person had told you are exposed and you see their weaknesses. Because I feel like they, you know, they present themselves as this emperor and this king of cups. But it's the shadow version of them. So it's it's that, um, you know, just nasty, manipulative, um, possessive energy. And I feel like you want this person to be exposed is how I'm reading this. But it could also be that you're fearing that, that things are going to come out in the open. I just, I just don't get that, though. It could be for some of you, but I think for the most part, you're wanting this person to be exposed. 
Now your overall outcome is the Ten of Cups reverse, Eight of Pentacles. So the truth is, and that's why I feel this Five of Swords is here, because in the Five of Swords, nobody really wins. So in this situation, nobody really won. That's why it, it, it turns out to be so emotionally unsatisfactory for you. Because you put so much energy into it. You put a lot of effort into it. And it's like, yeah, maybe this person will be exposed for who they truly are. But that's not going to make you feel any better. It's still, it's still a loss. It's still emotions and time that you spent on this person who ended up not deserving any of it. Let me see one more card here. Yeah, again, the Five of Swords. That's a no-win situation. <clears throat> so there you go, guys. Not the greatest reading, but I feel you guys are getting stronger. So that makes me feel good because I'm a Taurus too, as you know. Um, you guys are definitely progressing spiritually and, and just, you know, you guys are at a different level now. You're able to look at people and say, no, I'm, I'm, I'm worth a lot more than you have shown me. So see you later. It takes guts to do that. All right, let's move on to the general reading. And hopefully we'll get some messages for those of you who didn't resonate with this one. Okay, nine cards. We're going to do three for past, three for present, and three for future. Six of cups. <clears throat> Someone from the past. Could be soulmate energy as well we have the seven of cups reverse so someone from the past is bringing clarity or has brought clarity or you found something out about someone from the past maybe you're seeing through the fantasy the illusion ace of wands reverse yeah i feel like um they kind of Someone from the past kind of lost their luster for you. And they're just not really, they weren't doing it for you anymore. It's like the, the interest, that passion that was once there is dwindling. Five of Wands reverse here in the present. So that's like coming out of conflict or avoiding conflict. Um or not engaging in competition or something like that. There's a decision made. Whoops. I feel like you definitely gained clarity that, that you know, you were finding things out or, or just realizing certain things and but still had that hope there in, in the back of your mind but I feel like now you guys are in the process of really deciding what you're going to do the star so you're feeling hopeful and optimistic about the situation um, or this this whole process I feel has been very healing for many of you very cathartic I feel like a lot of you have come full circle as far as um, there was a lesson to be learned here. And I feel like you guys are realizing what that lesson was. And you're definitely a better person for it. Okay, in the future we have the full reverse. So that's someone feeling like they don't want to take a leap of faith. You don't want to take any chances. I feel like you're being very careful here in the future who you talk to, who you kind of associate yourself with. You're kind of guarding your heart a lot more. Okay, we have death. So there is an ending or a complete transformation as a result of a decision that's being made now. Someone's making a decision and there's a loss. So I feel like there's an ending. Bottom of the deck, we have, again, the Ten of Cups reverse, the Lovers, Three of Swords reverse, Seven of Wands. 
uh, again, I feel like this is from the past storyline. You're not, you're emotionally unsatisfied. Now you're really seeing that this person does is not for you. They might be a twin flame soulmate. They could be, but they're not for you. They're, like whatever lesson needed to be learned is learned and you're moving on. Okay, but you're getting over that broken heart because you're seeing all the lies. Like these lies, I feel like they make you see the light. <laughs> the lies make you see the light and you're cutting this person out. You're done with them. This could have been a third party situation for some of you. So, wow. Okay, now reading it another way. Um, let me see. I feel some of you are in the process of um, like interviewing. You're waiting for word back on, on, on a job that you're waiting for and some type of opportunity. Um, and it could be like from an old company that you worked for or somebody you knew that's trying to get you into their company or something like that. Um, but I feel like, you know... There's start you definitely went through the whole interview process. You're you're just like at the end of it, kind of just waiting for that return phone call. But there are things that it's like you don't know if you want to do. You know what I mean? Like you want the job, but then there's like things that that kind of hold you back. Like maybe they don't give enough vacation, or um, the benefits package is not great something along those lines that make you doubt it. Um, I also feel like you're not the only one. I feel like there's a lot of people, there, there's not many people applying for this job. So a decision is made. I, I feel like you're feeling hopeful because there's not a lot of competition here. You, you, you feel like you have it in the bag. It's just kind of delayed. Maybe the communication is delayed about it. But I feel at the end, you realize that this job is not all it's cracked up to be. I feel in the future, you're, you're just going to end up not accepting that offer. I feel like the offer will come, but you're not going to accept it. And then you're back to not having, you know, that you were, you were really hopeful about this prospect. You thought you were really close to getting it. And I feel like that's going to fall through for a lot of you. Okay, so that's the career side of it. Now let me do some clarifications here. We'll go back to the the love situation from the previous spread that always makes itself over to the general. <laughs> so let me see. I want to see the two of swords. Two of swords reverse. Why is the two of swords reverse here? Four of pentacles. Someone's making a decision to guard their heart. And I feel like that's you, Taurus. You're definitely out of that fog. You're, you're not indulging in that fantasy anymore. You're seeing things for what they are and you're kind of backing down from them now. Okay, what you once thought you were so passionate about, like I said, that passion was dwindling. So now in the present, it's like you don't even want to bother. You don't even want to waste your time um, even going to have a drink with this person. Um, for the star, we have the Empress Reverse. So yeah, I mean, I feel you're feeling hopeful. You're in the process of healing, so you don't want to nurture. You don't want to, you know, feel the fan, feel the fire here. Add fuel to fire. This passion. You don't want to indulge in it anymore. Because you're busy healing. It's taken you a lot to get to this point and you don't want to turn back. Let me see in the future here why the fool is reversed. Why is the fool reversed here for Taurus for October 15 through the 31st, 2017? Two of Wands reverse. Yeah, definitely. You don't want to take a chance. You don't, you don't, you're confused. You don't even know which way to go. 
it's like a part you know it's like 80% of you knows that you've come too far to turn back and go back to this um, toxic situation and but the other side you know the other 20% still kind of wants to because you're still feeling that that loss that sense of loss with that relationship there was emotion there I mean you you definitely had feelings for this person and it still hurts even though you see things very clearly now so death here nine of wands reverse yeah you're, you're just done you're too tired you've been through you know hell here's the emperor reverse you've been through hell with this person this for some of you this is a scorpio um for others i feel strongly also aries comes up a lot okay let me see the five of cups yeah <coughs> sorry two of swords reverse so again the, the feeling of loss is because you have to make that decision you know you have to cut them out because they're not good for you and you've come so far you know mm -hmm. <coughs> I mean <clears throat> look Don't worry. <laughs> you might feel the loss a little bit. Again, because it's like you're reopening a wound, but you're going to be just fine. <coughs> you end up here, the Queen of Wands. So, <clears throat> can't ask for more. It'll be rough. You know, it'll be rough. But it'll be worth it. <coughs> my apologies to you guys. <clears throat> ay, ay, ay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> now that we got through that, thank you for listening to me cough for the last two minutes. I'm so sorry, guys. I was coughing a lung up. <clears throat> so thank you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. <clears throat> Please like and subscribe. Um, and let me know if you are interested in a private reading. <clears throat> you can email me at eyesofthestarstarot at gmail.com. And I look forward to seeing you again in, oh my gosh, already November. So see you guys then. Yeah.